What's up everyone? Today we have a 25 minute standing dumbbell strength workout for a full body routine. I'll be using two eight pound dumbbells, but please choose your weights based on your own strength level and how challenging you want the workout to be today. We'll have intervals of 45 seconds on and 15 seconds rest. And if you haven't warmed up already, then check out my warm up and cool down videos linked in the description box down below. So find a bit of space and let's get started. All right, grab both dumbbells. Let's get started with a suitcase squat, then lateral shoulder raise. Here we go, join in, sink those hips, then lift from those elbows, nice. All right, take a break. Palm space forward, we have single press, rotate in and out. Okay, let's work those shoulders. Exhale, inhale, good. Brace through that core. Good, elbows stay lifted. All right, next up we have reverse lunges. You're gonna bend those elbows here, hold the dumbbells, palms facing up, then rotate in. Alternating legs, rotate in. Here we go. You're gonna start to feel the burn in those biceps throughout this exercise. Good, nice big step back. Good, you're almost there. Eight seconds. Woo. We break up and you slam the door. All right, bicep curls. So you're gonna curl, palm faces up, rotate, palms face in, hammer curl. So you're rotating at the top every time. Here we go. Pull up tall. And let's work the biceps. Okay, take those feet a bit wider, slightly turned out, we have a sumo squat. Dumbbells in front, flatten out that back. Inhale down and exhale up. Here we go. Good, think of sinking those hips. Knees always tracking in the same direction as those toes here. Good, so don't let them cave into the center. Keep them in alignment. Sad love. We got that fun love. We got that young love. Yeah, that dumb love. 
All right, so we have squat and press. Feet are about hip width for this one. Palms facing in, squat, single arm press. And you're alternating arms. Let's do it. Good, exhale on that press, nice and strong. Okay, we have overhead tricep extensions. So bring those dumbbells together. Two tricep extensions, then bring it in front and just tap to one side. Good, here we go. And you're alternating sides with that tap. Inhale, exhale to extend. Good, give it a tap. Straight back up. Good, other side. Bring it in front, tap it out. Nice. Okay, next move, you're gonna lean forward. We have two tri tricep extensions, those palms are facing in, then a bent arm fly here. Work the back of the shoulders. Here we go. Good, work the back of the arms. Nice. God, this is really good for those postural muscles here. Good. Squeeze the shoulder blades together on that fly. Good, nice and strong, nice and controlled. Okay, ditch one dumbbell. We have a wide second, so take those feet even wider than before, turning out from the hips. You're gonna press forward, holding the dumbbell like so. Tap back, bring it in. Out, in. Here we go, sink those hips. Good, keep that body upright. Shoulders over hips, nice. Good, you might even feel like you're in bar class right now. Really work those turnout muscles. Alright, same thing, back into that wide second. This time you're holding the dumbbell like so. You're gonna slow lower, super slow, then come back up. Here we go. Good, make sure those knees aren't caving in. Keep them drawing back in space to keep that turnout. Good, really slow it down with this lower here. Okay, 
Dumbbell is in your right hand. Other arm is either on your hip or out to the side. Step out with your left leg, side lunge, then press. If you want to intensify, we're going to add a knee. Opposite arm to leg. Here we go. Good. Option one. Or option two. Let's really pull up. Draw that knee up. Good. Grow taller. I want you to think of growing an inch taller when we press overhead. Nice. All right, switch hands. Dumbbell comes into the left hand and you're stepping it with the right leg. Same thing, option one or option two. Here we go. Big step out. Okay, dumbbell switches into the right hand here. Other arm reaches to the side. We have bicep curl, full, then half. Full, then half. Here we go. Working on some unilateral movements here, just the one side. Good. Now really think of keeping that bicep engagement the whole time. So don't let it relax even when you lower that arm. Good, keep holding it strong. Okay, switch arms, same thing. Here we go. Full curl, then half curl, come up halfway. Good, really finding that hold at the top of that half curl, squeeze it. Good, you're thinking of using those biceps the whole way through. Good, keep that other arm up out to the side. Good, working the shoulders on the other side to keep that arm up. All right, holding the dumbbell like this, we're gonna do a squat, reach down, and then twist and reach overhead. Squat, twist and reach the other side. Really working into the core for this one. Here we go. Sink down, twist, good. Engage through that core, work the obliques for that twist the whole way through.
Grab both dumbbells. Step those feet a little bit wider, slightly turned out. Tiny bend through those knees. You're gonna deadlift forward and come back up. Here we go. Sumo stiff leg deadlift. Good, flatten out that back. Nice, engage the glutes. Good, keep those dumbbells close to you here. Good, super slow with this movement. Okay, we have alternating reverse lunges. You're gonna step back. You're gonna lift part way, lower back down, step together, switch sides. Here we go. Good, half lift, lower, back to center. Okay, we have bent arm lateral raises, two, and then punch forward, one, two. Here we go. Bend those arms for this one. Good. Working the shoulders. Good, keep on moving, breathe through that pain. Breathe through the burn. Okay, we have a narrow press, palms facing in, press overhead. Then as we lower those arms, you're gonna lift one knee, press, lift the other knee. Here we go. Good, remember to pull those ribs in. Good, we're really using your core to help lift that knee and keep your balance here. Okay, we have heel raises. So simple enough, you're just gonna lift those heels, then super slow to lower. Let's work the calves. Here we go. So I really want you to resist as you lower those heels. Pretend like you're squishing an orange. So really press down. Nice.
Okay, we have reverse lunge. Step back with the left leg. And then you're going to lean forward, extend, tricep extension. Good, and lean forward. Good, so you're staying static with those feet for this one. Lean forward, straighten just the back leg. Good, for that tricep extension, keep those elbows drawing back behind you. Nice, body comes upright, then lean forward. All right, same thing, but the other leg. Woo. Should have really felt the burn in that front leg, especially for that movement. Killer for the thighs. Here we go, let's do it all over again. Good, right leg steps back. Find that position. Good. Good. Making, making sure those feet are about hip width here. If you are having trouble balancing, make sure they're not directly behind the other. That's always a good tip to remember. Okay, ditch one dumbbell. We have twist, twist, knee. Twist, twist, knee. Woo. Go, we're picking up the speed and we're working the core. Good. Keep racing through that core. Good, breathe. You're almost done this workout. All right, two moves left. We have squat. We're gonna press forward. Still in that squat, and then come back up. Here we go, sink nice and low. Press, and up. Good, sinking those hips back. Good, you've got it, pressing forward. Good, flat back, you've got it. Press into that dumbbell. Ditch the dumbbell. This is your final move, we have a wall sit. If you don't have a wall nearby, just stick with squat pulses. Back is against the wall, sink into a squat, we're gonna hold. Here we go, join in. Nice. Knees over those heels. Good, sink those hips. Good, tall upper body. Good, focus on your breath for this one. You can do it. You have 20 seconds. Almost there. Good. And five seconds left. 
Amazing work. You did it. All right, team, you smashed it. If you felt the burn, then hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment below so we can chat and to put in requests for future workouts. Don't forget to cool down, and I'll see you in the next one.